All right, guys, so continuing on our last video, we printed the Autobots logo. Now we're doing a Decepticon. So I picked this up from Thingiverse, and uh, just like the other model, there's a lot of cool stuff out there. You should check it out. And right now I'm printing it out, but I'm doing something a little bit different than the Autobot logo. I noticed that the Autobot logo had some deformation to it when I printed it out on the bottom, because as it cooled, it tends to bend away from the platform. So on this print, I'm using something called a raft. And that's what you see the printer printing right now. And this is where it's laying down like a first thin layer. And it's basically, it's literally building a raft. It's building a larger surface that's stuck to the board that it's then going to print on top of. And you basically tear it away when you're done. So here you can see it's actually finished printing the raft. And now it's on to actually printing the item. And uh, what's going to happen here is when the item's done is I'll peel it away with the raft intact. And the raft is actually printed at a slightly cooler temperature. And it's printed slower so that it doesn't bond properly to the layer above it. So you can literally just grab it and just tear it off for the most part. I found it can be a little tricky to get it off. I had to take a putty knife to it um, in this particular occasion. But I'm still tweaking with the printer and trying to find cool ways to do it. Uh, I really want to get something called a heated bed. And that's where right now you see I'm putting down blue painter's tape. And that's what I'm printing on top of. That's because uh, PLA sticks to blue painter's tape like really, really well. Well, what's even better than that is if you have a heated bed. So basically, you change out the plexiglass bed with a heated element bed that gets really, really hot. And it keeps the me it keeps the plastic uh, warm, makes it bond better to the surface. And then it can cool down slowly and it doesn't warp. So I called Ultimaker. And they said that they are actually working on a heated bed right now. They have uh, some suggestions on how to make your own, but until they actually make an official one, I don't want to use it. But once they have an official one, I'll go ahead and buy it and put it on here. And also to print an ABS, which is the other more durable plastic like Legos are made out of, you also are suggested to have a heated bed because it even shrinks and contracts more than the PLA does. Um, as you can see, I got the printer pretty dialed in this thing. I've been working it like nonstop 24 hours a day. A lot of you guys on Facebook have been ribbing me saying, oh my God, give it a break. It's going to, it's going to break down. And honestly, I've only ever had one problem with it and that's the nozzle clogged, which is something that's common. And it was actually an easy solution. It took less than five minutes to clear the clog and get everything back up and running again. And I haven't had that problem since. Another thing to note while it's finishing up its print right here is you notice the item's hollow. You can pick when you print the item whether you want it to be solid or hollow or if you want support material inside. And that's where you see all those little ziggy zaggy lines going back and forth um, to make it more rigid but not use as much material, which is what I opted for for this printout. But in the future, if I want to make something that's super durable that you know can't be easily snapped in half, I'd want to print it solid. So you can see another thing to note is the printer prints at 220 degrees Celsius. It's actually very, very hot. If you touch the hip, the tip of the thing, it will burn you. Um, <laughs> I had to experience this firsthand. And the other thing is the printer is actually printing this item completely detached from a computer. I actually inserted a SD card into the Ultimaker controller and it's printing from there, which I like because that way if the computer crashes or something happens or the driver hiccups, you're not going to lose your, your print because it does take a long time to print these items. All right, so it's now it's putting the top layer on. You can see it's starting to seal it back up again. And uh, this is a time lapse at 2,000%. So this is going a hell of a lot faster. I think this thing to print took a little over an hour. You can see down there on the Ultimaker controller, it says one hour, seven minutes. And it's just about wrapped up. And there it is. We have the finished item sitting on the bed. All right, so here's what it looks like after I painted it. I took some uh, some metallic paint that you see right here, uh, premium decor, and uh, it works pretty good. You just got to keep your hands off it after you paint. I touched it. You can see a couple spots where it got dull where I touched it too early. You got to leave this stuff sit for days. And the other thing is it really needs to be polished up. Once the paint sets up, I'm actually going to use some rubbing compound and polish it out because you can see some of the marks uh, from the printer shooting the lines back and forth. So if you sanded these and primed them first before you painted them, they'd be flawless. And here I am just kind of spinning it so you can see the light reflecting off it. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, it does need some finish work, but for the most part, you could take this, throw some double stick tape on it, slap it on somebody, and all your friends are going to be like, where the hell did you get that? And you can pretty much print it in any size up to uh, nine inch uh, by nine inch if you have an Ultimaker, or it just depends on if you have a RepRap printer that can do bigger than that. Uh, go to town. I'd love to see somebody print a bigger one. Well, guys, I hope this video gave you a nerdgasm, and until next time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys.